Okay, so I am excited to be here with you and let's get started. And so I want to know, first of all, if you have been, if you're watching the replay or if you're on watching live, make sure to tell me in the comments, have you being have you had success with your social media posting? And if so, tell me a little bit about that. If you have had success with your social media, post a one. And if you're feeling that you're a little bit burnt out with this, let me know in the comments by posting a two. Because what I have found is my clients are coming to me and they're feeling really burnt out and they're really overwhelmed by, because they're trying to do all of the things, right? They're trying to post in social all of the time. They're trying to post in all of the platforms consistently all over the place. And what happens is they get burnt out. Now, I have had this problem myself happen um, where I felt like, you know, I'm a business coach. I know all the stuff. I, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. And I jump in there and get on. And I was like posting, posting, posting everywhere, right? But the one piece that was missing for me is something we'll get to talk about a little bit later on. But it didn't it didn't work, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna give away the give away the farm right away. I wanna tell you why it, it, it didn't work and how I felt like when that was happening. I felt really discouraged. I really felt like there was something wrong with me. I felt there was something that was going on with me, and that was the reason why my social media wasn't working. But it wasn't the case at all. It really, really wasn't. So I wanna talk about three different different things that I think are part of the reason why you're not showing up or why your social media is not working. And then we're really going to dig into what the real reason is, right? Because the real reason I believe that backs up all of this stuff, that the reason why the social media stuff is not working for you right now is the same thing beyond all of these reasons, right? So let's talk about it. Okay, so the first one is, is that you are not showing up consistently. Now, we know the, our, that our life is ruled by algorithms, right? The Facebook algorithm, the Instagram algorithm. There's so many different reasons, even like Gmail, right, has its own algorithms. Like who's opening up your emails? Who's seeing your emails? That's all controlled by um, not human beings, by bots, right? Now, it's based on p b human behavior, but at the end of the day, it's not controlled by human behavior, right? Or it's not controlled by human beings. It's, it's algorithms. And those are the reasons uh, a lot of times why your stuff isn't getting seen. So if you're not showing up consistently, if you're not showing up all the time, all day, every day, right? Your stuff is not going to be seen by no fault of your own or no fault of your person who wants to see your stuff, but by virtue of the fact that it takes a lot of time for it to get out there. It takes a lot of repetition for the algorithm for you to get through on these algorithms, right? So consistently is consistency is super important. Like with me, I do this Facebook Live every Tuesday, come hail or high water, or sinus infections, or whatever it is going on, I will always be here. And if I'm not, I'll have a pretty good reason why that's not the case. But my people know that I'm going to be here, and they can rely on me to, to show up for them. Just the same as when you're in a, a client situation, you commit, you're going to show up, right? You've got to do the same to your audience. And the consistency is really something that actually builds and builds upon itself because the algorithms get to know that you're showing up all the time and they'll start to spread your stuff and show your stuff out, right? I hope that makes sense. Um, so consistency is really important. Now, if you're not being consistent with your uh, visibility, it's likely that underneath that there is the real reason, right? There's a there's more to the story than just like, you know, forgetting to post or not showing up, right? We want to talk a little bit more about that. The second thing that's really evident when you're not showing up is that you're not really invested in your people, right? So I've seen this a lot where they're not really engaged in their content because they check in the box, right? They know I need to post on Facebook and they know I, they need to post on Instagram. And so there they go. They throw the post up, right? But the post isn't really 
doing its job because there's no engagement. People aren't interacting with your stuff. Um, you're kind of making this profound quote, but like there's nothing there to back it up, right? So it's almost like I, I always equate it to, you know, like you're at, you've got your message to say, but you are wanting, there's a room full of people over there that want to hear your message. So you open the door, you shout out your message and then you shut the door and you run away right? <laughs> you're not actually going to be there, right? You're not actually uh, engaged. You're not invested in your message. You're too, I'm not going to say the word because I think I'm going to leave it to the end, but there's a reason. Why are you doing that, right? Why are you doing that? Why are you opening the door yelling and then running away? Because it doesn't work, right? And you see it all the time. I see it all the time. I'm in uh, on Instagram all the all the day long, right? And I and trying to engage with different people. And some people they put out this beautiful content, these these beautiful um curated um you know squares. They all look beautiful. You know they've spent hours planning it out. And uh, you go to type on you write their comment. You you comment on the thing, and it's like um hello, is there anybody here? Anybody want to talk to me? No. You just want to post your content and run away. So that's another thing, right? It, it's not been fully invested in your content. And it takes a minute to do that, right? That engagement piece is not something that's like, you know, one and done. You cannot automate that, it, at least not successfully, I believe. Like it, there, there's a problem there if you're automating it too much. So that's a, that's another thing. And then the third thing is is that you're not really meeting your people where they're at. Now, this is a really important one, and I have found that this is something that is overlooked hugely, right? Because I, for the longest time, heard this, heard other people talking about this, not meeting people where they're at. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Everybody's on Facebook, you know, I'll be there. Or everybody's on Instagram, I, I'm there, right? So that is not exactly what I mean by this not meeting people where they're at is more in relation to where they are at in their relationship to you and their customer journey to getting towards your service right so your job is to bring them in and show them that you have the answer to what they're looking for right and meeting them where they're at has got more to do with where they are in that process and in that journey rather than where they are physically right it's a mental journey. It's a, you know, emotional journey. It's lots of, you know, we can put a lot of feelings around it. But your job is to bring them in and bring them with you. Bring them towards what it is that you're offering as the solution to their problem. So uh, the reason why your social media could be attributed to all of these things and a whole bunch more, right? But these are three that we are, we're talking about today. The being inconsistent, not being invested and not meeting your people where you're at. These three things I believe are rooted in fear. I believe if you're not really doing these things right or at all, that they're, they're rooted in fear. At some level, you're afraid to show up. You're afraid to be consistently visible. You're afraid to be invested. You're afraid to engage deeply with your people. And you're just afraid to meet them where they are. All you want to do is, is talk about what you can do right now. Hey, Amy, thank you for joining me live. I appreciate that. Uh, we're talking all about the real reason why social media is not working, right? So these things are rooted in fear, inconsistency, not being invested, and not meeting your people where you're at. And what I mean even is specifically with the last one, when you're not meeting people where they're at, you find that that demonstrates or that's that's obvious from the outside is that you're just busy saying your thing. You're telling all the people like, I can help you. I'm the one. I can do it. I can do it. But you're not actually speaking to their problem right? You're not actually speaking to where they are at and they're not listening. It's like me trying to talk to my, you know, seven-year-old to clean up her room. She just hears the what, 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 what. She doesn't hear any of that, right? And that's the same as your person when they're not where you want them to be. You've got to meet them and talk to them where they're at. So really want you to kind of dig deep into what that fear is and why 
you're holding yourself back from showing up for your person because when you're holding yourself back from being visible, your person can't find you and you have a really good excuse why you get to stay safe, whoops, why you get to stay safe and you get to not serve your people and then you get to blame the algorithms and you get to blame Facebook and you get to blame Instagram and all of these things where actually the problem is much more deeper than that. Now, one of the ways, and this is all very well, right, and I'm being a bit ranty here today, but one of the ways that you can overcome all of these things is by having a plan, right? And I want to talk to you a minute about that because I know that lots of people have had plans and you can Google a plan and you can just, everybody knows how to use a calendar and you can write stuff out, right? But a plan goes much deeper than that because I had the plan, but it wasn't working for the longest time. And the reason why it was missing the strategy piece and so it's so ridiculous, right? I'm a strategist, but this is a typical case of being in your own photograph and you can't actually see what's going on. But by missing the strategy piece, I was missing the mark completely. Like I could like, you know, spit out statistics about, you must post on Facebook every day and you've got a da-da-da-da and at this time of the day and this time of the day and all of that, right? And Instagram, da-da-da. But it does not matter if you're not speaking to the right person, and crucially, you're not speaking to them for uh, where they are at, right? So it's important to be visible, or it's important to be consistent with your visibility. It's important to be engaged with your visibility, and it's important to meet your person where you're at. And what I want to do today is really, hi, Amy says, uh, it's like, you I, I, talking to my fear, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what I have as a solution to this right now is I've created a new half day intensive program. So it's a one on one half day intensive where we get together for three hours and we get really deep on those things that are holding you back from being visible. But more than that, we get to the strategy that's going to work for you because every business is different. Every person is different. Every, you know, um, entrepreneur is approaching their business from a different point of view, right? And from a different way. So it's really not just as simple as saying, A, B, C, D, here's what we do. And when I work with my person and my people, we get really deep into why they're doing what they're doing and how it fits for their specific life. We create a unique strategy around that. And we look at all of the ways that they can show up and be visible to, to get in front of more people so that they can get more consistent clients. Now, in this strategy, in the contact mapping strategy session, the intensive, you'll get your own unique content plan, you'll get your own unique visibility plan, and they are slightly different because we go deep into brainstorming the topics that are really going to help move your customer along. And we'll talk about, um, you know, how you can position them and how you can make it work for you, but also that's going to resonate with your person and where they're at. And we don't just talk about one platform. We talk about at least, well, I like to talk about two platforms and then your email marketing, which is a given that has to be a, a given platform as well. So those are um, the way, this is the new, the new, a new way that I'm working with people. And I have to be honest, I've been blown away by the success that people have been getting with it. It has been amazing. And, you know, these results are really our testament to having this plan, making this plan when you are feeling courageous and when you know that you can achieve it. And then that person, person who is sitting in fear on a Tuesday morning, you know, not knowing what to post about and not knowing, you know, where, what to do or maybe what to say exactly. And then they back out, right? They're like, okay, it's easier to say, no, 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 I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Right. So when you have your plan and your plan is set, it gives you so much confidence. It gives you so much courage that you can actually execute on your plan and know that it's actually going to work. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Didn't mean to get a bit ranty. Did want to talk to you about that. Have uh, wanted to say, let's see where this is. I, I wanted to do something here, see if it works. Yay! 
no, that way, that way. So excited. I didn't know I've been playing with that. You know, I'm a bit of a geek and I love to mess around with the, with stuff like that. So if you are feeling called to get your strategy together, get your plan together, get your visibility out there, because you know that it is super, super important. I want to invite you to come first on a strategy call with me. Let's just get a call to see if we're a good fit, if we can help each other the way that I, that, you know, I'm pretty sure I can help you, but you, we want to get on a call, make sure we're a fit. It's not for everybody. I'm not for everybody. I have a very different, unique approach, right? Just like I know you do when you're working with your people. So we'll get on the call. We'll see if this is a fit and we'll schedule your intensive content mapping strategy session. And I have some time available through the week, but I've even blocked off some weekend times for this because I figured, you know, this is the perfect Saturday morning activity to get done. And then you can approach the next 90 days uh, with confidence. And I will tell you a secret that once you have 90 days worth of content mapped out, you're good to go for the entire rest of the year. Because once you have those bones, it's a matter of rinse and repeat. All right, go ahead, check out the... <laughs> check out the, the link here below. If you're watching me on Instagram, you're like, why is she doing that? It's all on my Facebook page. IngridKellyOwens.com forward, forward slash strategy. And we will talk soon.